This is Mission Control Houston. We now have confirmation that the Soyuz TMA-17M spacecraft has landed. The search and recovery forces reporting from the landing site that uh, the Soyuz uh, was found on its side. Not unusual uh, for a windy uh, landing uh, condition. The words up on the front screen here in the Mission Control Center, yes, Posadka, they've landed. Video now being received from the landing site to the northeast of Jezkazgan. A good view of uh, Kimia Yui, who's uh, being hoisted uh, in his uh, reclining chair. He'll be placed in an all-terrain vehicle uh, to be driven uh, to uh, one of the helicopters uh, that has arrived at the landing site. We uh, are also told that Ale Kononenko uh, was removed from the Soyuz capsule. Uh, Chell Lindgren uh, to be uh, removed next. Extraction of the crew is in progress, with uh, Kononenko and Yui having been extracted, and uh, Chell Lindgren now in the process of being extracted as well. And a good view of Chell Lindgren, uh, having returned uh, from space 141 days on his first mission just two days ago. He was at the controls at the robotics workstation in the cupola of the International Space Station using the Canadarm2 robotic arm to grapple uh, the orbital ATK Cygnus resupply vehicle. And 48 hours later, he's back on Earth with his crewmates, Oleg Kononenko and Kamiya Yui, uh, looking uh, hale and hearty. Uh, they will be uh, loaded into uh, helicopters uh, for about a 35-minute or so flight uh, to Jezkazgan, uh, where they will wind up... Uh, ultimately being flown uh, in a NASA Gulfstream jet. Uh, that would be Lindgren and Yui uh, back to, uh, to uh, Houston. The uh, third crew member, the Soyuz commander, Oleg Kononenko, having completed his third flight into space in 533 days aggregate total to be flown back uh, to uh, Chikalovsky Airfield uh, near Star City, uh, the uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center Air Base and Training Center. Uh, he will be flown back uh, to uh, be reunited with his family at his home there. A good view of uh, Chell Lindgren at the landing site. Uh, he um, is talking on a satellite phone, presumably to his family back in Houston. That's uh, typical and commonplace. Uh, the landing site is floodlit, uh, but there will be no erection of a medical tent uh, on this particular evening uh, since uh, the landing occurred uh, under uh, rather uh, harsh conditions uh, with a thick overcast. The search and recovery forces uh, deploying only four helicopters to the landing site and several all-terrain vehicles, Ale Kononenko uh, and Kamiya Yui, already uh, having been uh, placed inside uh, all-terrain vehicles, uh, to move uh, to uh, respective helicopters nearby. This uh, is the first uh, post-sunset landing uh, for a Soyuz vehicle uh, in International Space Station history, the sixth night landing overall the last one occurring an hour before sunrise back in November 2012 when the Expedition 33 crew uh, brought its mission to an end, uh, Sonny Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hoshide. Now Lindgren uh, being lifted uh, to be carried uh, to an all-terrain vehicle and a short ride uh, to a, a nearby helicopter uh, to begin the flight uh, back to Jezkazgan.